Uh, hallo uh, jongens, de eerste machine doet het niet, de andere doen het wel. Nou, ik ben bezig met de Nijax uh, eigen de kaart, met de bankpasjes doet het dus, uh, steeds niet. Nou, hij gaat dus over, maar bij deze machine doet hij helemaal niks. Nou, je hoort het niet klikken. Zit vast. Ik ga even kijken of kabels uh, iets los zit of niet. Maar anders laat maar weten wat ik kan doen als je wilt. Even zijn de sleutels echt een ramp om eruit te halen of uh, indraaien. Hoor. Dat is echt, kijk, dat is op slot. Ik, moet echt, ik krijg ze niet uit. Nu krijg ik het pas. Van onderste op slot. Ik moet echt uh, mijn klok hoor. Oh, dus, uh, daar moeten we echt uh, aan werken. Zo, so, uh, het blijkt dat deze solenoïde hier werkt niet. Hij trekt niet naar binnen om hem uh, los te krijgen. Want bij deze zie ik het. Als je de kaart gaat doen. Nou, die gaat los. Maar bij deze gebeurt gewoon niks. Ah, gebeurt niks, hij doet het niet. Die, de solenoïde werkt niet gewoon. Uh, laat maar weten, zijn er bepaalde de connecties? Want ik, ik, ik ga niet overal aan zitten. Want ik zie een paar dingen hier. Maar dat is van Nijax. Laat maar weten wat ik kan doen, alsjeblieft. Dankjewel. Het volgende probleem dat ik heb is: sommige machines zijn, gaan gewoon zo door en ik kan gewoon niet openen. Hij blijft maar doorgaan, maar de, laat me niet de, de gluif zeg maar openen. Dat, uh... Ja. Nou, ja, nogmaals proberen. En waarom vraagt hij welke product? Dat moet ik toch niet hebben? Ik heb maar één product hier. Ik ga het instellen. Kijk hoe langzaam het gaat, die gele licht. Kijk. Normaal is. Kijk, hij is een laser. Bij deze gebeurt gewoon zo. Gaat heel snel. Nou, proeft. Nou, deze gaat over. Maar deze. Hij leest het niet eens. Hij gaat echt langzaam hoor. Nou. Hij heeft het goed gekeurd en hij, hij, hij zegt gewoon wachten, maar er gebeurt niks. Nou, dat is echt te lang hoor. Nou, nu gaat hij pas over. En ik heb het beste internet, uh, het allerbeste internet, dus ik kan niet... Uh, Gaan we terug naar de eerste machine weer. Ja. Deze werkt gewoon niet. Deze werkt niet. Ah, dat is 
It's just fucking stupid, man. There's Angel. I was working, now it's not working again anymore. So what is this now? So are people going to stay here for five minutes to purchase something? Okay. Let's open this one. Push to start. Does not accept that. And why is that? Okay, so number eight. And this guy's so slow, it doesn't work. This is 10 a.m. the second day of my work and these two machines they just uh, yeah they fall off last night uh, all of a sudden they gave me this code I don't know what it is this is another code and the gentleman uh, Mr. Thomas Shelberry told me this morning that he has sent a program but I mean this happened uh, in the middle of the day all of a sudden and a few other machines didn't work at all and uh, yeah 
I'm stuck here. I'm stuck with this everything. This first machine doesn't work anyways. It has a, a mechanical problem from the factory. And this is confusing. Nothing works. I ma made such a beautiful place. I made, I mean, all these advertisements and people coming here eventually ending up here paying to me and I have to go back, back of the machine and take out food and deliver it to them manually. This is embarrassing. Um, hello, jongens. Uh, nou, ik heb echt problemen met de machines. Nou, deze werkt sowieso niet. Die, daar hebben we mee over gesproken. Die twee werken, die zijn helemaal uit. Nou, ik ben uh, sinds gisteren bezig met Najax. En die andere werken echt niet goed. Die, die, iedere keer zullen ze kaart, dan moet hij lezen. Dan duurt het zo lang, dan geeft hij error. Ik heb net vijf mensen gehad die wegliepen. Want uh, ik was bezig met één. En dan werkte hier niet. Dan zegt hij, nou, ik ga de andere proberen. Jongens, dat is een ellende. Alsjeblieft, help me alsjeblieft. Kijk, iedereen is weg en dat is lunchtijd hier. Ik had net vijf mensen, die liepen allemaal weg, want alles is nieuw. En zij, zij denken nou, die schamen zich om te gaan proberen en zo. Dus uh, weten ze niet hoe het allemaal werkt. En ik ben bezig met, met één klant. Het is niet goed, echt niet goed. Goedemiddag ADM, vandaag is uh, ja, woensdag. Uh, ik denk dat 14 is uh, van uh, ja, 14 augustus. En, uh, ik zit met die machines, die werken echt niet goed. Mensen lopen allemaal weg. Ik heb net vijf klanten gehad die wegliepen. Nou, die eerste werkt sowieso niet. Uh, en die twee Najax, kijk, die zijn uit. Die werken niet. Sinds gisteren ben ik bezig met Najax. Probeer ik ze te, te pakken te krijgen. Ja, de gozer is er bezig mee, maar ja, zo moet het gewoon niet zijn. En dan die apparaten zijn zo dat uh, mensen gaan met de kaart. En het duurt echt een eeuwig om dat uh, te lezen. En dan geeft hij error aan. En dan, wanneer hij error geeft, nou, dan moet hij toch uh, gelijk weer restarten. Dan geeft hij error, dan moet hij vijf seconden, zes seconden wachten. Dan gaat hij pas naar de, dit bijvoorbeeld. Even kijken. Uh, wat is het nou allemaal? Uh, dan moeten ze een keuze maken. Ik bedoel, uh, ik weet niet eens waarom ik dat heb. Wij moeten toch geen keuze maken. Alleen kaart houden en uh, openen. Kijk, push to start. Hey. Nou. Kijk, hij geeft nu al, ik heb met hand gedaan, hij geeft nu al een error. Kijk, purchase cancelled. Nou, moet u kijken. Hoe lang het duurt tot het gaat naar het beginpunt weer. Kijk maar. Nou, dit, dit werkt gewoon niet. Mensen staan zo met, met kaart in hun handen wachten, terwijl die andere hier wachten. En die zijn allemaal bang, omdat alles is nieuw voor, voor ze. Ze hebben het nog nooit gezien. Die lopen gewoon weg. En ik ben bezig met één klant om uit te leggen. En ja, het werkt niet goed jongens. Help me alsjeblieft. Hey. Nou, geef kaart, is aan lezen en dan geeft hij fout aan. Dan ga je weer doen, dan doe je het wel. Jeetje. Vänliga vänta. Kort att kontrollera. Varför gör det nu en gång till? Tack så mycket. Hij leest, hij leest het niet eens. Jeetje. Ik ga nu pas over. Kijk wat een poging moet ik doen om. En...
een van deze de open te krijgen. Nou, deze heb ik de hele dag gehoord met alle machines. Goedenavond Jos, uh, bedankt voor het vragen. De, nou, ik ben in het restaurant. Uh, nou, de machines werken echt niet goed. Uh, die kaart moet, kun je houden. Iedere keer moet je het twee keer doen. En uh, die zijn allemaal zo hoor. Die zijn zo lang, langzaam aan het lezen. Ik bedoel, dan gaat die zo geel worden, dan gaat die ergens zo, zo, zo. Ik snap het niet. Ik bedoel, zodra die gaat, uh, geeft aan dat het gekeurd is, moet hij gewoon open. En dan zegt hij, dan moet je wachten, dan moet hij contact maken. Nou, dat begrijp ik. Maar dan zegt hij, het is goed. En dan moet je weer wachten tot de deur open gaat. Ik weet niet waarom gelijk het signaal gaat niet uh, dat de deur open is. Gelijk met, met de, de goedkeuring. Nou, vanochtend, deze, deze twee deden sinds gisteren niet. Het is uh, vanaf ongeveer 1 uur vanmiddag deze begon te werken. En hij deed het niet. En nu ineens, ineens zie ik nu dat hij doet het en hij doet het er weer niet. Uh, nou... Dat is gewoon ellende hoor, echt ellende. De, ik heb geen, uh, uh, hoe noem je dat, geen plezier gehad zover met die machines. Want uh, bij geen ene gaat het goed. Men moet uh, iedere keer twee keer bijvoorbeeld uh, de kaart trekken en dan of die het leest of niet. Uh, het duurt allemaal te lang. Ik geef even een voorbeeldje met mijn eigen pasje. Nou, ik ga bijvoorbeeld hier, wil ik dit uitpakken, om te kijken. Kijk, eerst ging die wel, gaat kaart lezen en dan doet hij niet. En dan tweede keer doet hij het. Nou, kijk hoe lang het duurt tot de deur open is. Waarom gaat hij niet gelijk? En uh, nou, zo gebeurt bij alle machines. Dus uh, ze doen het iedere keer op de tweede keer en niet de eerste keer gelijk. En als ik bezig ben ergens anders met een andere klant, die andere komt hier en hij staat gewoon te knoeien met de machine, want ze weten niet uh, hoe het werkt. Dan lopen ze weg. Vandaag donderdag 15 augustus. Uh, ik heb de machines bij het bedrijf gezet. En uh, de, totdat ze uh, gewoon uh, gemaakt zijn. Want die met Onyx uh, is gewoon schandalig hoe ze werken. Met, uh, allemaal heb ik filmpjes gemaakt, kunnen jullie zien. Dat telkens moet ik twee keer doen, dan geeft hij error en uh, dan wacht hij eeuwig tot uh, van kan er weer beginnen. En uh, wanneer er zijn is gegeven dat het goed gekeurd is met betaling, dan moet hij gelijk aangaan. Maar dan gaat hij de verify en dan moet hij weer wachten tot hij open gaat. Intussen zijn mensen gaan aan de deur zitten te trekken. Dat verify toch, dus je mag de, de, de snack uithalen. De, dat weten ze niet. Dan zit hij vast, dan gaat hij weer error geven. Nou, dat is gewoon een ellende jongens. Dat is echt een ellende. Nou, niet te geloven. Today, August the 15th, 2019. These machines, these two machines uh, do not work. I have no idea what they're doing. Yesterday, this guy was working. And uh, they told me from the company that they're going updating them, sending them some kind of update. And this one was out of order. Today this is working, the other one is out of order. For the past, this is now the, the third day that I have problem with these guys. Uh, Goeiedag. Nou, zover. Ik heb die gele kabel vervangen. Oh, dan moet hij niet dus aankomen. En nou, de, hij werkte toch niet. Ik heb nu de printje zeg maar vervangen. Dat is een nieuwe. Hij gaat zo proberen en uh, kijken hoe het is. Ik denk zelf dat uh, en die solenoïde dat ligt daar. Maar zover heb ik uh, die gele kabel vervangen. Nou, daar lag er niet aan. Najax heb ik nog niet vervangen, dat is, uh, dat is uh, dezelfde. Nou, printboardje heb ik wel vervangen. En iedere keer heb ik die machine natuurlijk uh, uitgezet. 
Uh, nou, daar lag die ook niet aan. Uh, ik ben bezig met het vervangen van die groene kabel. En, uh, even kijken de, hoe het allemaal zit. En uh, ik zal je nader uh, informeren. Saturday, 24 august. Uh, deze machine is, ze uh, zeggen, has been updated. Ze will come here, they see this one off. This one is off. I mean, it's not off, but the display doesn't work. Obviously, there's no display, so people think that doesn't work. So I'm gonna use my prepaid card to see. Oh, as you can see, this is what happens. I mean, uh, this one is okay. But this one doesn't work. Like people come here, it says it's okay. Look. Uh, I cannot open. I don't know if it has taken money or not. So people are coming here. I I go back of the machine and give them free snacks because I'm not sure if they have had it. They have paid it. Like this one works, but there is no display on it. Uh, I have no 25 idea. 25 in the morning. My first customers walk in. Again, I'm embarrassed here. One work and the other one time doesn't work. So this guy works now. And he just didn't work when my customer was here. And yeah, this guy doesn't work. And this guy doesn't even read cards. Look, nothing. I have no idea the, what the heck is this company doing. Look. No, this doesn't open. Oh my god, I have a... <sighs> Look, doesn't work anymore. These are supposed to work back to back. I mean, I will have customers lining up here, for God's sake. I need to test them one by one every morning. Yet sometimes they work, sometimes they do. Look, this guy doesn't even read the card. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. I mean, I can't believe this. There you go again. This is another machine. This is now two weeks after my opening, and I'm constantly busy, like adjusting and repairing. This is a, such a goddamn like signal. Just you need to send it, send it. What is this? Oh my God! Can you believe this? Nothing works here. Another thing that happens that uh, actually slows down my work is, look, this guy. <laughs> it's not even reading now. It was reading, but it's not reading. Let's see this one. So what happens here is the next customer comes in, they pay. Okay. So nothing happens. We end up like 
I have to go all the way from the back of the machine in order to, to take out one of them, go there to my cashier, and, and then first ask the customer if the money has been taken out of his account, because I do not know, sometimes it, sometimes isn't. And this is embarrassing. I mean, the guy comes and asks me, do, do you want me to take a look into my account? I mean, how does this work? And this guy doesn't work even. This is now 1 p.m. Sunday. Customers come in and walk out. So today, uh, 27th of August. Let's see. This guy doesn't work yet, so I put out of order on it. And look at the displays. They're all like this. But this guy is different. Like, please select a product. This I have asked them to remove it. And it was removed. And it was working good. And they changed it again. I don't know what they're doing. Can they see what kind of program I'm running? Like, I don't have anything to select. They're all the same. You just put your card and take one out. Look, they're all the same product in one machine. Uh, yeah, I have no idea what's happening, what's going on. Uh, Nyax was is supposed to know which program I'm running on all of the machines, so they can see that this guy is obviously different, and this guy was working good, and then again not good, and then again good. Now it works, but people come here and read this. Please say, select the product, because the concept is new. They don't know. They think they need to choose something so they can choose one of these slots. So they go like this, and of course it doesn't work, and they get confused now. They, they call me, and yeah, an additional issue. Today, 30th of August, uh, again, the prog another problem, like having no display exists like three days now, but this machine do not work again. This one, no, doesn't work. This one works, but it has the same problem again, so it's out of order. Like, it doesn't give you the option to open. Before opening, it goes to the home position. This one, this is okay. This is what happens with this machine, so nothing, look. So after three times, it started to work. Saturday, September 7th, uh, and see machines do not work all the time, it's, uh, I mean, I have no idea what's going on. And this is uh, which one? This is 3947. So people all the time asking me why is this happening? This is with, uh, this is the other one. This does work sometimes, sometimes not. So obviously nothing is working again. This guy is okay. Back to this one. Doesn't work. This one is good. And this was working, it's now work not working again. I have no idea what's going on. Check 
Today is September 10th. This guy did not work, but this is now working, so this is good. This is the machine that I received from Holland actually. I changed it with this one. And I was supposed to change it, set it for the first one. Now I have issue with this one. Does not read the card. And this gentleman, let's see how it works. The same problem again. Oh my god. Now I have it on this machine. Um, I have no idea. I mean, this is ridiculous. I can't even run my business. Every time I get embarrassed when someone comes in and uh, tries to get something it's really embarrassing that I also do I have I've given so many stuff for free because they do this so I do not know if uh, it has been taking money out or not so I'm gonna check it once more to see with my car so it doesn't give anything I have no idea I mean the same thing was happening for more than two weeks or three weeks with the other guy over there, that machine. People keep, people kept like putting their cards there and it did not open. So I did not know if they have paid or not. So I end up giving them free food. Now I'm having it here and having it with this one. These two were working today. After the update, that guy was not working over there, the Nyax. And these were working now, and that is working, and these are not working. And here I still have no display. People think that this does not work. Oh my god, I'm sick and tired Today of this. September 13, I still have no display on this one. And I just wanted to find something here. Display just disappeared. I mean, look at all this steam. I mean, the oil is new. And this was not supposed to be like this. Look at this. I don't know if you can see it good, but... This is all the smoke coming out. Today is 24th of September 2019. So this machine still doesn't work. So it does not go to the open uh, like step so customer can open. So if they do that, we, I never know whether the money has been taken out of their account or not. So I have to go behind the machine and take it manually and then ask the customer to check his or her bank account just to make sure everything is okay then i have this machine that does not have a display uh, god knows how long almost since the beginning and today this machine has the same problem as that machine that we just saw my customer came here and did the same It does not go to open product stage. Well, I see right now there is a white light there. It's green and white. I do not know what that is. That is something new again. I don't know, every time there is something with these machines, what was that LED now? Okay, and uh, anyways, this is September 24th, my machines do not work, and I have three big problems. I mean, that, that guy with no display, it works, but customers think it does not work, that's why they do not use it. But it does have a display, so display works as you can see. The display works perfect, I just do not have any display, and this has been reported so many times. So I'm just tired of it and I, I just let go of it. So this is so far the Nyax payment device. Today is 25th of September 2019. It goes like this, but it does not open the machine. So I'm stuck again. 
This is this machine. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. So it does not uh, send signal to go try it once more. It simply doesn't give the signal to open. This was the same and yesterday they were working. Look at this. Oh my God. This is unbelievable. Here still I have no display. This wasn't working last night. I had the same problem here. This is now seems to be fixed. I do not understand this, this every day. They're just changing every day. I mean, oh my God. I've never had eight machines working here all together. Today, 27th of September, um, the issue with this machine is not solved yet, after uh, more than a month. Uh, this guy uh, doesn't work, uh, reported this uh, yesterday, so it does not open the machine. And this guy has another LED there, two LEDs on. I don't know what's wrong with these machines, they have never ever been working since day one. I did not have eight working machines. I always had four and they're changing. I mean, I can't even know which one is working which day. Uh, Thomas, right now I have, uh, I have another lady walking in. Uh, she's showing me her telephone. It shows that she has used this machine. That's actually 10 kroner. But shows here that it's that's gone like twice. 50 kroners has been drawn. So this is a new problem here, please fix it for me, thank uh, you. Today is September 30th. I'm gonna test run the machines again to see if uh, everything works. I just had uh, a lady uh, here and uh, me mechanically did not go open, so I'm gonna see if that happens again. It does not open. They're stuck. This happens with this machine a lot and with the other machine the door goes open we can open the, uh, the thing but it does not closes this is uh, yeah. now this is stuck now I mean it doesn't come down it's really hard it's mechanically it has got nothing to do with this it's just mechanically, it's very hard. So the, what I every day do is just the machine is even test to see which works, which not. Now here have I have still no display. It exists already in my month. With this, the betaling. Let's even look at how it works. Now this is good. Met deze de tweede. Ja, het gaat niet door dus. Nog een keer. Alsjeblieft. Nou, dat werkt niet. Met Mexicana doe ik niks momenteel. Uh, ik heb geen producten, maar we gaan even kijken of. Soepel. Met de kaas, zoveel lees. Hier heb ik wel problemen gehad. Ik ga uh, even alles. Oh. Bovenste ging goed. Oh. Met tweede ging moeilijk. Zelfs tijdens dicht gaan komt hij ergens aan tegen. Vierde vakjes. Gaat hard. Ja, 
nästa kortet kontroll i helg önskad produkt. Tack så mycket. Vänligen nästa kort i helg önskad produkt. Tack så mycket. Goed. Maar deze zit, een van deze twee denk ik, zit af en toe vast. Nou, het onderste gaat iets moeilijker. Mensen meestal knokken om deze de, de, de open te trekken. Nou, dus het gaat moeilijk. Ik ga nog een poging doen hier in het midden. Nu vast. Hij gaat niet dicht. Ja. Dat bedoel ik. Er zit soms uh, zo vast dat hij gaat uh, echt niet dicht. Nou, met deze proberen. Soepel, met deze gaat goed. Met deze gaat goed. Uh, heb ik. Maar ik heb nog nooit de bovenste geprobeerd, want zodat dat eens weg zijn. Ik neem ze van daar onder, zet ik ze in de midden vakjes. Dus uh, tot de recent had ik ze niet geprobeerd of, of het goed gaat of niet. Ja, ik kan niet uithalen. Nou, bij deze zit echt vast. Bij deze het gaat het heel vaak mis. Nou, ik wil even kijken. Het gaat echt vaak mis hoor. Nou, deze is goed. Ja, hij zit vast. Nou, hij zit vast en gaf niet aan. En hij dacht dat het product eruit had gehaald is. Dus, uh, nog een poging. Ja, gaat niet open. Als je loslaat. Nou, gaat niet open en nu denk je dat hij eruit gehaald is. Ja, maar deze gaat wel. Deze zit vast. Today, Tuesday, October the 1st of 2019. I'm gonna give another test to the Well, I do it every day to see what happens actually. All right, here we go again. Oh my God. Terminal 3942, does not work. Nyax. Now it works. First time didn't. Well, this happens often, actually. Okay. This is good. Next one. Yeah, there we go again. <laughs> that guy goes for itself on. What is that? <laughs> Wow, 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 wow. This machine works for itself. I mean, what happened just now? Well, this time, this kind of stuff was happening all the time. 3941. Nyox, it's not functioning. I am sick and tired of these machines. My whole business is down because of these machines. People walk in and they cannot. Oh, buddy. What happened just there? This does not go open. I had to fix this. RDM automatic in Holland. Yeah, 
Let's see how this one works. It's good. I've never tried the top one. I'm gonna try it. Okay, that's good. This one, people think that does not work, so I constantly need to remind them of that it's functioning. 3900, it's a number, Nyox. I have no display on it. It's more than a month. But then it works. The display is there. What's wrong? This machine has some mechanical uh, problem too, I guess. Look, it does not open. Sometimes it opens and it does not close. So I'm gonna see it again. Look, it does not... No. This is what happened and now it does not close. Look. This is what happens. This is good. But many times this one doesn't close. This is one of the most used ones. Look again, it does not... Here. Now it closes. I don't know what's wrong with it. This one seems to be okay. I do this every day, even several times a day. Okay, this guy is okay. Okay. It does not go to open ste step. All right, again. Terminal info. Oh, where is it? What's happening here and now? Okay, 3950 is the number. Nyax, it's not functioning. Last one. Look, this is so easy opening. Why are well, this is the way it should, it's supposed to be? Okay. This guy also has some problem actually with the opening. Sometimes the whole thing does not work. I'm gonna try it again. See this? It's not working now. So it goes like this. This is mechanical. ADM Holland. There is something here in my in the way. Look, it's waiting. I have no idea what's going on here. Nah, it didn't work again. Now here, it's again, does not work. Oh look, this is what I mean. This is stuck somehow. This now I open, this one moves too. Now if I close it and open again, it opens. But it happens so often and peep customers are stuck here and they call me and anyways, August 12th, that was my opening day. I did not have one 
full functioning day with these machines each day at least four of these machines did not work that has brought down my business guys who is responsible for it people are coming in because they know they are like fast automatics and they do not work and my business is suffering because this is the whole business about Och kommer ingenting. Det är ju mörkt. Den verkar helt sträcka. Nej, ja, det kommer. Vad händer nu? Försök igen, försök igen. Jag tänkte igår. Gör ingenting. Jag kan vänta, jag ska ta fram bakom. Ingen fan då det är problem med det. Hans, goedenavond. Het is van, vanavond, het is maandag nu, 7 oktober. Uh, ik, heb, uh, nu, ik ben nu gesloten, vandaar dat ik ga een uh, filmpje voor jou maken. Deze machine staat op 10 krons, dus bijna 1 euro. Nou, wanneer mensen betalen, dan gaat 50 krons van hun rekening aftrekken. Ik ga het even zelf proberen, maar ik heb het filmpje hiervan naar jou gestuurd. Dat doe ik met mijn eigen uh, pankaart. Nou, dat is de tweede machine. Even kijken hoe het werkt. En dan bij sommige, uh, kijk, die gaat niet eens open. Ik kan het niet open trekken, dus dat is niks. Dat is al ruim een maand zo. Nou, de volgende. Bij de kaas. Ik heb een ander probleem. Nou, display heb ik sowieso niet. Die, die, die werken niet allemaal hetzelfde. Bij ene moet je hem langer houden, bij ene korter. Kijk hoe lang het duurt nu. Nou, stel eens voor dat het zo is en mijn klanten hier wachten allemaal. In dezelfde tijd even gaan die andere proberen. Kijk, die gaat over en deze nu. Dus dat kan niet aan internet zitten. Nou, het heeft dat afgekeurd, terwijl die andere was goed. Nou, hoe kan zoiets nou? Zie je dat? Het gebeurt alleen. Ik heb de hele dag met klanten te doen, zo gewoon. Ondertussen ben ik naar mijn bank gekomen even kijken of ik uh, geld heb, want die zegt dat ik geen geld heb, maar nou, in mijn computer kan ik zien dat geld op rekening staat. En ik kan niks doen, dus ik ga even verder. Yeah. Uh, nou, ik ga weer bij de eerste. Ik ga even met deze proberen. Dat is van Nyax. 
Dus deze werkt wel. En dat gebeurt heel vaak, want uh, ja, ik weet niet waarom. Weer mijn eigen bankkaart. Alsjeblieft, die werkt niet. Uh, bij vele klanten werkt niet hoor. Maar toch wil ik deze even laten zien. En bij kaas. Zo. Deze gaat nu goed. Ik ga het nog een keer proberen. Die gaat heel moeilijk open. Deze. Bij deze machines. Kijk, ik ga hem nu niet open trekken. Na drie pogingen. Na drie pogingen. En soms gaat het helemaal niet goed. Kijk, ik kan nu open. Het gaat nu niet dicht. Zie je dat? Het zit vast. En soms zit het helemaal vast. vast. Dus als de klant hier is, dit mag gewoon niet gebeuren. En dan bij die laatste heb ik, ja, bij allemaal heb ik probleem. Bij deze gaat soms helemaal niet over. Kijk. Kijk, ik trek aan de bovenkant. Het is nu pas open gegaan. Dit is mechanisch. Deze leest dat ook niet. Alsjeblieft. Gaat niet open. Ja, ik heb maar twee machines te werken. En hierdoor, ik ben mijn klanten kwijt. Eén ding, ik ben de enige, ik denk de hele wereld eigenlijk, die alleen met de snacks werkt. Dus mijn hele concept zijn deze automaten. Ik verkoop geen hamburgers, ik verkoop geen pizza, niks. Alleen snacks. Daar wil ik me graag gespecialiseerd hebben. Maar het werkt gewoon, het concept werkt niet. En als ik jullie laat zien, jullie kunnen zien hoeveel ik verkoop nu. Dat is echt belachelijk. Het is mijn kassa van... Uh, even kijken. Maandag. Bijna 60 euro's. Zaterdag. 35 euro's. Vrijdag. Terwijl het naar beneden gaat, jullie zien dat de bedragen hoger zijn. Ik ben gewoon mijn klanten verloren allemaal. Die komen en zien dat het verkeerd uh, loopt. En uh, ja, kan gewoon niet. Deze apparaat, deze machine heeft bij de ene klant twee keer, bij dezelfde klant helaas. Uh, ja, en ik denk ja. dat het bij andere... Nee, <laughs> nou, nou, kijk. <laughs> Oké, okay, maar bij deze ga, heeft twee keer 50 krons heet getrokken. Afgeschreven bij, uh, bij de bankrekening. Ik weet niet, was het bij deze of de andere? Ene keer was het, ik weet niet, twee aparte bedragen. Ik heb uh, de foto's gestuurd naar uh, Jos, Jos, denk ik. Jongens, ik moet iedere maand grenken betalen. En ik heb gezegd tegen zo, ik zal geen betaling doen omdat mijn machines niet werken. Ik heb betaald voor acht goede machines. Geen, ik heb geen ene dag gehad die ruim twee of drie machines werkte. Echt. En het is gewoon, uh, ja, ik heb er geen woorden om dat te beschrijven. Hoe ik me voel iedere keer dat mensen binnenlopen en iedereen zegt dat wij hebben gelezen wat een concept. Wij komen zo kijken en ik ben in een hartje van Centrum. Jullie kunnen hier zien, nou, dat is centrum, dat is gewoon een, zeg maar, ja, kijk, dit is allemaal centrum. Ik ben in Centraal, nou, dat is een bushalte hier. Dus mensen komen, willen gewoon iets pakken en gaan, omdat ik het zo geschreven heb in de kranten. En het werkt niet, dus komen gewoon niet meer. Nu, mochten ze zijn dat, dat ze werken, perfect, nu moet ik tien keer zoveel... Uh, Offerte doen om mensen weer terug te krijgen. En ik heb geen geld, ik kan niet betalen. Ik kan echt niks betalen. Wat, wat is mijn oplossing nu? Wat mij opgevallen is. Oh jeetje, ik schaam me echt dood. Kijk, deze zijn allemaal van, vanavond. Die pogingen dat ik bij een machine heb gedaan. Eén keer 22, één keer 45, één keer 50 en dan weer 50. Dat kan toch niet? Dat kan toch niet? 
Oh jeetje, mensen hebben allemaal verkeerd betaald tot nu toe. Ik heb geen... Oh. De 50, de 2 keer 50 zijn gewoon dezelfde machines. Deze eigenlijk. Kijk, ik heb 10, ik heb 20, ik heb 25, ik heb 20, ik heb 22, 25, 30 en 25. Er zijn bedragen getrokken via de automaten dat ik niet eens heb. Jeetje. Als mensen erachter komen. Oh man, ik kan het niet geloven. Uh, today is October 14th, 2019. So I have no display here. And uh, mechanically I also have problems with the machine. So it does not go open, very difficult. Now this one does go, but it's very difficult. And sometimes when you use it, it does not get closed. And most of the time are these, and people see now, okay. And closing it, now it is not closed. So it takes a while, you need to play with it. And the other one is this one, machine number four that does not open it does not open at all actually none of them it used to open a little difficult but now it's not at all so so this machine is out of order now can you open the gong? what? yeah, open the gong yeah, yeah no, it's with the Ja, vanavond 14 oktober ging ook iets mis. Bij beide machines gingen de deur niet open. Die luikjes gingen niet open. Ik weet niet wat, uh, wat gebeurde. Ja. Deze. Ja. En bij deze ging dat de display weer af. Ja, ging je, bij beide ging het fout. Uh, mijn klant kon ze niet uh, opentrekken, maar ik weet niet wat er uh, aan de hand was. Maar goed, zij doen het weer. Ik we proef wel nog. Gewoon in. Van de vloer van de conti. Oké, jij staat daar van balkon. Ja, dat is wat happens with the machines. Het is vandaag 29 oktober en uh, sinds een paar dagen heb ik problemen met deze machine ook. Die niet open gaan, gewoon mechanisch weer. Net als die andere twee. Ik zal het proberen, soms gaat het wel. Kijk, nu gaat het niet meer. We wegen de andere. Ja, leuk is gewoon. Dus soms gaat het wel en soms niet. Dus bij de klant komt meestal gebeurt het gewoon niet. Ik ga het nogmaals proberen. Deze gaat wel. Ja, daar gaat het weer. Ja, ging net open en dicht. Dus de probleem eh, heb ik momenteel. Ik heb dus drie machines, dat is deze. Die. En die laatste, die mechanische problemen hebben. Today is uh, October 31st of 2019 and I have a new issue with this machine. Sometimes it does work, sometimes it doesn't, so it's not working right now. 
I have two problems here. One is with Nyx that does not read the card. The other one is that the physic I mechanically does not go open. So I have problem with this. And in order to verify that, prove that, you can see that the card works here. So this okay. But this guy doesn't work and I have a kind of request for technical support and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so this is a problem i have right now this is the new problem in addition i have problem with that machine that does not go open like mechanically and the last machine mechanically i have problem with them i have three mechanical problem let's tell you the first one and the fourth one and the eighth one they have mechanical problems and this guy has still no display it's really rare in the beginning i had it and it's like more than two months now and the display works as we can see but there's no display on that so it's confusing for people they come and they think it does not work so they go to other stuff uh, today is november 2nd and i have problem with this guy now it's uh this is not even reading its own card so i mean it has got nothing with internet and I, I have this problem for the last three days actually it doesn't do anything so it has been turned off and on and reset again uh, this guy has still no display nobody does anything about it i'm so tired of telling anybody uh, everybody and uh, i just let go see what happens second of november 2019 I'm reporting machine fault and it's not not read card so this is the proof that the has been reported our problem here too so I've sent this one as well so this is so far uh, the problems no display doors get stuck when they open the last machine door gets stuck when it's open. Today is uh, 4th of uh, October 2019. I'm going to test the machines. I had problem uh, with these machines that did not read the card uh, or did not take, take money. I'm giving an error. It goes to reset point very fast as you can see. This is one with this guy. Okay, this is not doing it now, but Stock again. Elephant Elephant Fourth of November. Today I had a new problem. Uh, actually, this is uh, the machine that the customer came here and could not use the card. I don't know if I can. It's not reading now. Oh my god, I'm getting sick and tired of this. I'm really getting sick and tired of this. It's so embarrassing. It's now almost thir three months now. I have ordered eight machines. They're supposed to give people like a fast food so they can grab and go. And they are not working. I mean, customers are not coming. Look, it has been like this all day. I had only one customer today. 
because I have like city hall there. I have all the shops. I have all these people. I have a hotel there. I have people upstairs here. It's apartment units. I have apartments over there. They used to come here all the time, especially people who are working in the area. Come here and grab and go. And they come here and they get stuck. And then eventually they have to go to another shop to get the food. So they think it's a waste of time here. I have lost all my customers. This is ridiculous. This is really, really ridiculous. Every day there's something new. I mean, oh my God. And then they update them. And then again, they don't work. Look at this one. What is this? I see this right now. Oh my God. Look at that. This happens just today. Oh man. This is ridiculous, Nyax. This is ridiculous. Nyax, Nyax has brought me down to the, for the main part of the whole situation. Look at that. I have no display here. Three months. This machine doesn't work. This machine doesn't work. Look at this guy, it's just stupid. I have mechanical problem here, it doesn't open. Yeah, of course it doesn't open, this and the problem I have. So, so I have to open, it's waiting for me. Oh man. I am reporting problem. See what happens here. I cannot even report a problem to see what happens. Oh my god, this is this is so stupid. I'll have a customer tonight and he is walking in and this uh, machine does not work and it's showing it only accepts cash. So this is a problem I have with this machine. This is for tonight. So as you can say the customer is here and the machine is not working, it's not reading the cards. And this is machine number 2698. Hmm. Now, okay. Yeah. Approved. 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 Yeah. Jag sa bara kortet kontrolleras och så sen... Vänligen vänta, kortet kontrolleras. Hej, önskar kortet. Tack så mycket. Jag provar den här som lyft. Okej, det är november 9. Min kostnader står här för att försöka maskinen. Som du kan se, den Nike inte läser kort. Så det är så här som det händer så ofta. Det är så här som det händer. Okay, Thomas, this is uh, uh, November 11th, and as you can see, the, after the update, after being updated, the machines do not function well, and the display is not there, and this is like third or four customers during the past days. Well, I guess this uh, Nyax problem is a never-ending story. It's uh, since day one I have problems now several days. Every time they update something, machines start acting very strange. Now we're gonna try again to see what's happening. Uh, I'm using my own uh, bank card. I've had the videos recorded from people. It does not read. As you can see, 
No, there's a second one. I mean, I have had this problem since last week and I'm just sick and tired of uh, letting him know and nothing, nothing has been done. And they send me like, look, this is the third machine, it's not working. Look, what is it? Terminate. This is something new, this is the first time I see this. So as you can see, several machines are not working. I mean, <laughs> this guy is just tanking me right now. I, I have no idea what's wrong. This is uh, uh, this Nyax has problem every day. Every day something new. Now all of a sudden, this machine is not working since last week. This guy has not displaced since I got. Oh, I don't even know uh, how long. It's like more than two months. And. Uh, yep my business is coming down because this is my concept my whole business plan is about eight machines that were supposed to work that is a business plan so not seven not six not five eight machines that is the whole calculation has been about but uh, there is not even one day going by without a problem and that they have brought my business down so uh like almost last week I, I had to go for bankruptcy almost if I did not some help, get some help from one of the companies that they know how hard I've been working on this if it wasn't for their support I, I would have been bankrupt today is by the way November 11th exactly three months after my opening today is November 13th and I'm gonna have a check out on the machines. The problem is that when I use a Niox card, card reader, so sometimes it works, but the bank card is different. So this is my own bank card, my business card. Okay, there's this one. The terminal number is NSU3942. This is registered. Second one. So this happens almost all the time. Terminal number is and so 39.41 this one doesn't even read the card at all terminal number is and to 26.98 this one no display from the beginning card error terminal number 3900 Today is November 14th. I'm uh, recording this video as an evidence. Last night uh, I've sent email to Mr. Thomas Shelberry, several emails actually, and he asked me the numbers of those machines who do not function well. And uh, well, this one it works. So I'm, I'm going home, that's why I'm turning off the machine. I turned off this one. This one worked, but as you can see, this one doesn't read. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. That's what happens. One of them doesn't even read like this one. Look what happens.
I mean, customer comes here. They 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 act very strange. I mean, one this this one doesn't read. I guess this one reads sometimes and keeps going and does not give order to open the machine. And this is what happened right now. It just went off for itself. I don't know what's happening. I think that's the one that after several minutes it thanks you. I don't know what's happening. Look yourself. It is 10 to 9 p.m. One of these, look, this happens and I think after several, several seconds or minutes it gives the order to open the door or thank you for some, or something. Okay, I do not have the display here still. This one's good. Look, this one came alive. And this isn't happening. Anyways, this is still happening with these machines and uh, sold them. This is an uh, evidence of these machines are not functioning normal. I mean, the point is that people come in, put the card, take out food, and just go. And are not supposed to stay here or wait here or whatsoever. <laughs> Det är lite längre. Today is 19 November, November 19, 2019. And this machine have still problems, so I'm gonna go through them one by one to see what happens. Okay, doesn't function on my bank card. I just paid at the supermarket. So this is what's happening. Look how long this one takes. This is this does it all the time. And then nothing. Half an hour ago, I used the same card with the bleep at supermarket. So this is not doing right. Okay, terminate. This is uh, not doing anything. Okay, this is my company card. I'm showing it so it's love to snack. So there's money in it and it has worked on uh, in the supermarket. So this is the kind of problem I have. It is uh, like five days more than three months. So three months and five days. 96 days that I have this problem. Eventually I hear that I need to change these units to something like this that this doesn't even work That's why I have stopped the machine my drinking machine because that guy doesn't work. My technician was here yesterday so November 18th and He has contacted someone called Andesh at Nyox and talked to him about this issue too so all these machines have issues and my business has gone down. I'm just keeping myself uh, alive, however, because uh, in any which way I can, because this is a successful business. And I need to get up again, but it would take me like 
four times, five times, maybe another year to get up to the same place I, w I started at day one that I started because now people have lost their trust. It is 9 a.m. November 20th, 2019 and I am fucking frustrated with these machines. And this morning again, this one doesn't go on at all. This one doesn't go at all. I mean, they were working. What is happening here? Two other do not read cards. I can't just use these machines. My whole business is coming down. Who's fucking responsible for this? For the past more than three months, I've been complaining. ADM Holland, Nyox in Sweden, whoever you guys are, you have sold this to me, sold it for me. I'm up to my neck in, in loans that I've got from people. I've borrowed money to start this business. You can make jokes with, with people's life. And whatever I say, you just got to report it. Every day I'm, I'm reporting a problem. Every day I'm having a new, new video, for God's sake. Do something. You guys selling things, come after it and give me service. They just send me bills and bills and bills. And they're not even ashamed of themselves. God knows, I don't know, 40, 50 videos I have already. Enough is enough. People's life is not a joke. This is supposed to be a successful business. Read my Facebook and you will see it's a successful business. People love it. But the concept doesn't work. There's a shitty concept here. Why don't you guys do anything? Is my life a joke to you guys? When the machines were delivered to me, they were tested. Tested on what? They have mechanical problem, they have payment problem. Nothing works. This is one of them, here. It just, here, nothing works. This is the other one. The other one doesn't take payment. The, I mean, what is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Whatever I sent to you, just tell me we reported it. Reported for what? It doesn't save my life. It's end of the month. Look at this one. It doesn't get open. It keeps going. And Mr. Thomas Shelberry from Nyx is asking me, please change the devices. If these devices are incompetent, why are you selling them? Why are you putting them in the market? Are people jokes to you guys? The fucking enough is enough. Fucking enough is enough. I've had it. For three months I've been polite, I've been patient. I've been sending you videos. Do something about it. Fuck. Today is November 20th of 2019. For more than three months, I have had these machines and they have not been functioning. I have ordered eight machines, eight vending machines. I never had eight vending machines working. They all have problems, especially the Nyox device. I am up to my neck in loans. I have borrowed money from people to run this business. The business is successful. The food is good. Just read my Facebook page and you see how successful this business can be. But my concept doesn't work. It's bringing me down. For the past two months, I have borrowed more than $15,000 from my siblings and family and friends in order, in order to stay alive. I've been reporting this problem. I have more than 50 videos. Almost every day I've recorded a video. I've reported a problem. Nobody comes here to check it out. And they, they are not even ashamed of themselves. They send me bills for things that I, I don't even have. For services that I'm not receiving. Look, this is today. New problem. Doesn't work. No display. Three months. Doesn't work. This guy here, I have two machines, three machines with the same problem. Look, this is mechanical. Look at this. It does not open. I have two others that gets stuck. 
most of the time. I'm ashamed of myself when I'm working here. People keep coming in, people keep getting their card there, and I keep ending, like, going back there and give them the food manual and come here at, at the cashier and the, make them pay. And every time they need to go to their bank account to see if the payment has been drawn from their bank account or not. I've ended, like, giving more than 500 free foods here to people because I didn't know if the, the money was taken out or not. The fucking enough is enough. My life is not a joke. These machines were supposed to be tested. They even have mechanical problems. And every time I send a report, you guys just say, okay, we, we reported it. Report what? It doesn't pay my rent at the end of the month. The fucking enough is enough. Send someone to fix it. ADM Holland, you asked me to pay for your estate, the technician estate when it's here. Yes, that is when after one year I have used the machines and they are not, now they have a problem. But now that they have a problem since day one, they were not supposed to have a problem. You need to deliver eight working machines to me. It's NIOX. You, need, you are responsible to get to NIOX, not me. I have bought it from you. How can you guys live with like, like that? How can you sell like this? For three months, I've been reporting to Nyox, to Mr. Thomas Shilberry in uh, Sweden, to ADM Holland. No, they just keep reporting everything. And I, I've been, <laughs> I've kept like borrowing money in order to keep myself alive here. Get your asses over here and do something. Enough is enough. It's winter time here. I don't even have money to pay my electricity. Last year I have experienced it already. In minus 30 I was without electricity at home. How do you think it feels and it's coming again? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You sell product, back it up. You can't back it up, do not sell it. If this Onyx device is incompetence, it's a shitty device, why do you put it in the market? And the gentleman asked me just simply to change them. He sends me a box of Nyox devices here. I don't know what kind of shit, another shit. A simple change is, well, okay, change them, please change them. Send someone to change it, it's your work, it's not my work. This video is very viral now. It's very vital now. I've had it. I really have had it. For the past three months, I've been patient. I've been loyal. I've been polite. I've given you guys a smile all the time. And not this time. It's my family and my life that's getting destroyed. And you guys obviously do not give a shit about it. It is half past nine right now. And I'm going to go home. I'm closing down my restaurant today. Because I'm really sick. I, I, I'm like uh, burned out. I'm devastated. I'm just gonna go home and we we'll see what happens. Apparently, I need to get in the, with the law or something and uh, get some lawyer to do the job. Obviously, these guys do not understand what they're doing. Today is November 20th, uh, I called uh, uh, Bonhof, they told me that the internet will be back on 8 p.m. So I closed my restaurant because all my machines work with internet, with all the payments. So I have no internet, this is the proof. So today is November 21st. Yesterday I was so frustrated that I had to leave and go home and I left a message for people that my internet doesn't work, so I just left. I was so furious over everything, everything and everything. This whole thing is bringing my business down. Mr. Thomas Shelberry has sent me updates, he says, and still my machines do not work. I'm using my own bank pass, pass right now, my, my bank card. Uh, I'm gonna draw something from each machine to see what happens.
ಅವನಿಗೆ ವ್ಯರ್ಥ ಕೂಟಕ್ ಕೊಂಟ್ರೋಲಿಯರ್ Mechanical problem. This one doesn't read. This one doesn't read. Well, that does work, and the other one has a mechanical problem. So, no changes today. This needs to be reported again. Today is uh, 25th of November and this machine is again, look, what, what is smoke here. I mean, it's a small place and uh, this is a bad smoke coming out of the machine. Whoa, it's not supposed to come out of anything. And I do not have uh, ventilation, so... All right, November 26th. Machine doesn't work. It's just off. Do not know why. I'm gonna try them all again once more to see what happens. This is number two. Seems to be okay. Machine number three. This doesn't mean that does not mean that all the slots work because they get stuck. Okay. This one is off. This one doesn't read card. This one works, and this guy doesn't even read the card. It was reading card like I know yesterday, two days ago. Anyways, one, two, three, four not working. Fifth machine. I mean, the slots do not work. They get stuck. Mechanical problem. Uh, as you can see, I fill the machines. Because when it gets busy, I do not have time to cook. But this is just in order to have them ready. So I get back here and serve people from behind the machines. Actually, I take them out. I bring them to cashier and ask them to pay here. So it, it, it makes my work three times slower, actually. Because normally they just go there and put the card and take the food out. Now first I need to know, make sure if the money has been drawn off their, off their account and then go back there, then come here and while people are waiting here sometimes they, you know, all this going and coming interrupt other people in line. 26th of November. Today is uh, November 19th, this machine does not work still. We have been waiting for the part, the technician has been here three times and it's almost two months that I have it and I have never used it. Um, never, I mean, and they ask me for money to pay for it while I'm not using it. Uh, it's just a documentation that uh, this is off, it's not working. Even the technician last time he contacted Niox himself and uh, the parts were, were ordered and was the wrong part and then ordered again and was again wrong part so uh, i'm still stuck with this thing today december the second after three and a half months i was just demonstrating the machines to my customer and i saw that not even its own card works nowhere and I wonder if this is VP cashless card itself. So nothing works. This guy doesn't read, never did for the past few weeks. 
So I'm going to try to, to do it with my bank card to see if it works. I have no idea what's wrong. In case they have cut off the service, I have not been uh, notified about it. No email, no SMS, nothing. Uh, and I wouldn't have any idea why they would do that. Today, December the 3rd, exactly three and a half months after starting the business, I'm disconnecting all Nyox devices. As you can see, they're all disconnected. And this is the last one I'm gonna do. So Nyox is disconnected. I'm not gonna use them anymore. And I'm gonna use the cabinets for now as a device that just keeps the food warm and I will serve people uh, from the rare where, where I can access to the snacks. Uh, it was last night that I realized that none of the machines work I was uh, and as I was going to demonstrate one of those machines how it works to one of the customers uh, with the uh, Nyox card its own uh, uh, VP cashless card so I could uh, normally open the boxes and it did not function I tried them on all it did not work without no warning they were just not working I mean only two of the machines work anyways but without no warning so I had to send them an email that none of the machines work this morning I received an email that is not it is because of an unpaid invoice of I think about 2000 something clones almost 200 and something euros and uh, I mean the question is how dare you send me an invoice for services that you have never ever provided me with how dare you you have destroyed my business literally these machines is my business is all about everything about my business is these machines not selling over there this is just an option because I need to start as a franchise and people that are gonna be a franchisee need to know they want a restaurant or they want to start only with the wall with those machines and just imagine that I had started only with the wall with those machines because I was gonna put them there at the outside and no restaurant actually nothing like this just a wall with those machines just imagine what would happen to me I would have been destroyed right now all my payments comes from selling here it just covers my costs hardly anyways from now on this is a matter of law right now law is going to decide who is doing what these machines are going to be installed they're going to be sent uh, home where they came from in Holland and guys as far as I know I am a end user I'm an end user do not expect from me to do anything I paid for the machines the machines are supposed to be here to be used I'm not a repairman I'm not a technician and if I do something voluntary I do it because I want to cooperate but for three and a half months, I've been complaining, I've been nagging, I've been asking, I've been polite, I mean, my whole life is ruined. And this was supposed to be a new franchise throughout whole Scandinavia. I am going to continue, try to continue somehow, because I've been working on this for five years. I have all the evidence. I have more than 50 videos from day one and Nyox you don't believe me it's about your machines not even this guy works this is Vipos the technician was here and it was wrong and even called Andish to see what is wrong with that one and uh, Mr. Thomas Shelberry asked me continuously why don't you choose them why don't you like switch them to a device like that Vipos the answer is I chose for them. I don't have to do that. Make your devices work. 
It's that simple. You are selling something, make it work. It doesn't work, do not sell it. It needs to be changed, come and change it. I'm an end user. I have paid for the machines, that's it. Take, you can take care of it yourself. I don't have to pay anything. I pay only after I have used it and, if, and it's out of like warranty time. I will pay you after I'm using it. I've used them after six months, they have a problem. Not a machines, not the machines that from day one did not work. They were supposed to work. I have paid for eight functionable machines and devices. That's it. Period. Eight, not seven, not six, not five, eight. Even if seven of them are working, I'm not going to pay a dime. This is my project. Eight machines, eight working machines. Now, ADM and Niox, you come up with a solution yourself and keep me out of this because uh, from now on, it's my lawyer that you, you guys are going to talk to. En uh, waar ik over had, Sascha, gaat en over waarom heb ik dit nou hier? Waar is mijn TCS, die mooie digitaal systeem? Ik moet deze machines verkopen. Ik ben toch jullie agent? Ik moest het beste hebben om te kunnen verkopen. Waar zijn die ledjes die beloofd worden op de webpagina? Dit, uh, die groene en uh, uh, rode voor ieder vak. Die staat ook niet. En dan de, met de sleutels, ik ja, zal laten zien hoe het werkt. Kijk, ik maak eentje open. En wanneer het dicht is, kijk, ik ben echt een knok hoor. Kijk, ik krijg hem niet uit. Kijk, ik ben een trekker. Ik krijg hem niet uit. En dan als we met twee sleutels hebben, als we met alle machines moeten werken, krijg je krijgt de hele nacht pijn in je vingers. En dan die platen zijn zo slordig in elkaar gezet. Die kan echt allemaal mooi worden. Er zijn simpele dingen, die hoeven niet zo te zijn. Ja. Uh, yeah. En een aantal andere dingen dat ik uh, op, op het moment niet, uh, niet weet. Ik kan niet goed denken nu, want uh, alles zit uh, tegen te werken. Automaat. Goed. Vandaag is uh, 20 september. Uh, ik zet deze even vast. Today is 14 september. I'm going to use this card. So today is Tuesday, 17th of September. This is according to my cash register. Um, once again, my whole concept is about these automatics. Without them, my concept is meaningless. So I already have one that, that did not work from the day one. Well, I'm trying to repair it myself somehow. Then I have this guy. This reads the card. But it does not go through the stage that I can open the automatic. And this is... Nyox Onyx number 3941. Then I have this guy over here. It does even does not read the card. 
and I can yeah this is 2698 so this one doesn't do anything this guy here does not have a display it's for so long right now while the display works because we have the display here and this is 3900 so people think it doesn't work so they take out they do not take out of anything from here then uh, I also have issues with the machines that some doors do not close I think it's this one I will check it out then after after taking it no this is good one of these doors the uh, oh I think it's here because it does work See, it does not go open. I'm going to try it once more. This goes open. All right. One of these though does not close really well. I don't know which one it is. I forgot about it. I think I can see it. Another try. Okay, it doesn't work, but one of them, these doesn't work. Then I have issue here with the automatic itself. Uh, One of the thing does not open here. Okay, they're working now, but when customers are here, they are not opening. I don't know which one it is, but when customers are here, they, it does not uh, open. All right, but I, uh, I have issues here anyways with that one on top. Sometimes they do not open. Also with this one, yesterday customer came. It did not function well, so it took out in the first attempt 15 crones and the second attempt 20 crones and I have a picture of that because we had to ask the customer to check his account and this is something that we are constantly doing like asking people if the money has been taken out of their account a transaction has been executed because we never know if I mean it happens uh, easy like 60% uh, of the time so this is what happens and uh, this is my business is all about and because of this, I, I, I mean, customers have uh, lost a lot of trust in these machines. So they are not coming. And my business is getting worse every day while it started very well. And people love the food. But these machines are destroying my uh, business right now. Uh, I mean machines, I mean the Onyx uh, from Nyax. And we have been very busy with it for over a month right now. And still I have issues with them. And this is unbelievable. Bijna alle sleutels gaan. Nou, ik, ik maak hem dicht. Ik maak hem dicht en ik kan hem niet uit. Je moet echt zo worstelen mee om uit te krijgen. Uh, bijna allemaal zijn zo. Dus het gaat echt niet soepel met de sleutels. Today I'm changing uh, the Nyax device on this uh, machine. It was not working like for a long while. So I've had one from Holland. So I'm going to try to change it to see what happens, if it works good. I'm 
will change it with this one. It's a new one. Today I'm changing uh, the Nyx device on this uh, machine. It was not working like for a long while. So I've had one from Holland. So I'm going to try to change it to see what happens. If it works good. I'm going to change it with this one. Het is vandaag 29 oktober en uh, sinds een paar dagen heb ik problemen met deze machine ook. Die niet open gaat, gewoon mechanisch weer. Net als die andere twee. Ik zal het proberen, soms gaat het wel. Kijk, nu gaat het niet meer. Bewegen de andere. Ja, blijf eens gewoon. Dus soms gaat het wel en soms niet. Dus bij de klant komt meestal gebeurt het gewoon niet. Ik ga het nogmaals proberen. Ja. Deze gaat wel. Gaat het weer? Ja, ging net open en dicht. Dus de probleem eh, heb ik momenteel. Ik heb dus drie machines: dat is deze, die en die laatste. Die mechanische problemen hebben. Well, I guess this uh, Nyx problem is a never-ending story. It's uh, since day one I had problems. Now several days. Every time they update something, machines start acting very strange now we're gonna try again to see what's happening uh, i'm using my own uh, bank card i've had the videos recorded from people it does not read as you can see now that's the second one I mean, I have had this problem since last week and I'm just sick and tired of uh, letting them know and nothing, nothing has been done. And they send me like, look, this is the third machine, it's not working. Look, what is it? Terminate. This is something new, this is the first time I see this. So as you can see, several machines are not working. I mean, <laughs> this guy is just tanking me right now. I, I have no idea what's wrong. This is uh, uh, this Nyx has problem every day. Every day something new. Now all of a sudden, this machine is not working since last week. This guy has no display since I got. Oh, I don't even know uh, how long. It's like more than two months. And. Uh, yep my business is coming down because this is my concept my whole business plan is about eight machines that were supposed to work that is a business plan so not seven not six not five eight machines that is the whole calculation has been about but uh, there is not even one day going by without a problem and that they have brought my business down so uh like almost last week I, I had to go for bankruptcy almost if I did not some help get some help from one of the companies that they know how hard I've been working on this if it wasn't for their support I, I would have been bankrupt today is by the way November 11th exactly three months after my opening Okay. 
Thomas, this is uh, uh, November 11th. And as you can see, after the update, after being updated, the machines do not function well. And the display is not there, and this is like third or four customers during the past days. Okay, that is November the 9th. That's my customer is standing here for trying the machine. Uh, as you can see, the Nike does not read the card. So that's for so happening so af often. Uh, det får vi kalla inte jag ska det ge ni här. Ja, jag har beställt köp en där då. Ja, ja. Det är inte. Ja, det. Sen så bara kortet kontrolleras och så sen. Vänligen vänta. Kortet kontrolleras. Well, I guess this uh, Nyax problem is a never-ending story. It's uh, since day one I had problems. Now several days. Every time they update something, machines start acting very strange. Now we're gonna try again to see what's happening. Uh, I'm using my own uh, bank card. I've had the videos recorded from people. It does not read. As you can see. Now, that's the second one. I mean, I have had this problem since last week and I'm just sick and tired of uh, letting them know and nothing, nothing has been done. And they send me like, look, this is the third machine, it's not working. Look, what is it? Terminate. This is something new. This is the first time I see this. So as you can see, several machines are not working. I mean, <laughs> this guy is just tanking me right now. I, I have no idea what's wrong. This is... Uh, uh, this Nyax has problem every day. Every day something new. Now all of a sudden this machine is not working since last week. This guy has no display since I got... Oh, I don't even know uh, how long. It's like more than two months. And uh, yep, my business is coming down because this is my concept. My whole business plan is about eight machines that were supposed to work. That is a business plan. So not seven, not six, not five, eight machines. That is the whole calculation has been about. But uh, there is not even one day going by without a problem. And that they have brought my business down. So uh, like almost last week, I, I had to go for bankruptcy almost. If I did not some help, get some help from one of the companies that they know how hard I've been working on this, if it wasn't for their support, uh, I would have been bankrupt. Today is, by the way, November 11th, exactly three months after my opening. Should I a little longer? Today is November 20th of 2019. For more than three months, I have had these machines and they have not been functioning. I have ordered eight machines, eight vending machines. I never had eight vending machines working. They all have problems, especially the Nyox device. I am up to my neck in loans. I have borrowed money from people to run this business. The business is successful. The food is good. Just read my Facebook page and you see how successful this business can be.
but my concept doesn't work it's bringing me down for the past two months I have borrowed more than fifteen thousand dollars from my siblings and family and friends in order in order to stay alive I've been reporting this problem I have more than 50 videos almost every day I've recorded a video I've reported a problem nobody comes here to check it out and they, they are not even ashamed of themselves they send me bills for things that I, I don't even have for services that I'm not receiving look this is today new problem doesn't work no display three months doesn't work this guy here I have two machines three machines with the same problem look this is mechanical look at this it does not open I have two others that gets stuck most of the time I'm ashamed of myself when I'm working here people keep coming in people keep getting their card there and I keep ending like going back there and give them the food manual and come here at, at the cashier and uh, make them pay and every time they need to go to their bank account to see if the payment has been drawn from their bank account or not I've ended like giving more than 500 free foods here to people because I didn't know if the, the money was taken out or not the fucking enough is enough my life is not a joke these machines were supposed to be tested they even have mechanical problems and every time I send a report you guys just say okay we, we reported it report what it doesn't pay my rent at the end of the month the fucking enough is enough send someone to fix it ADM Holland you asked me to pay for your estate the technician estate when is here yes that is when after one year I have used the machines and they are not, now they have a problem but now that they have a problem since day one they were not supposed to have a problem you need to deliver eight working machines to me it's NIOX you need you're responsible to get to NIOX not me I have bought it from you how can you guys live with like, like that how can you sell like this for three months I've been reporting to Nyox, to Mr. Thomas Shilberry in uh, Sweden, to ADM Holland. No, they just keep reporting everything. And I, I've been, <laughs> I've kept like borrowing money in order to keep myself alive here. Get your asses over here and do something. Enough is enough. It's winter time here. I don't even have money to pay my electricity. Last year I have experienced it already. In minus 30 I was without electricity at home. How do you think it feels and it's coming again? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You sell product, back it up. You can't back it up, do not sell it. If this Onyx devices is incompetence, is a shitty device, why do you put it in the market? And the gentleman asked me just simply to change them. He sends me a box of Nyox devices here. I don't know what kind of shit, another shit. A simple change is oh, okay, change them, please change them. Send someone to change it. It's your work, it's not my work. This video is very viral now, it's very vital now. I've had it I really have had it for the past three months I've been patient I've been loyal I've been polite I've given you guys a smile all the time and not this time it's my family and my life that's getting destroyed and you guys obviously do not give a shit about it uh, jongens ik wil nogmaals uh, een ding uh, uitleggen hoe het allemaal gelopen is hier ik heb hier een zwarte zeg maar display besteld op wielen Ik heb een grijze gekregen op poten. Die wielen heb ik nodig, want dat is het enige waarmee ik grote dingen naar achteren kan brengen. Die moet naar voren, want de deur is veel te smal. Nou, die zou een uh, glazen plaat hier moeten hebben. Nou, dat heb ik niet, want uh, ik, ik kan uh, niet meer dan dit, zeg maar, de snacks dis op display zetten. Nou, hier moest ik een koelkast hebben, zo'n display. 
voor mijn salages, nou, die heb ik niet gekregen, die heb ik niet ontvangen. Aan de andere kant moest ik een drankautomaat hebben, al vier maanden heb ik het besteld. Ik heb het niet binnengekregen. Daar heb ik automaten die niet werken, die niet goed functioneren. Allemaal, tellen, tellen ze allemaal bij elkaar op, oké? Okay? Kijk hoe ik me voel nu. Ik heb op reclames beloofd men, en mensen uh, kaasbroodje, kroketbroodje en zo geven. Kijk, ik heb een uh, oven gekregen zonder de platen. Die gozer is het gewoon vergeten. Dus ik kan hem niet maken. Ik heb zo'n 200.000 kroon, zeg maar bijna 20.000 euro machine die die lekkage met olie kan hier gebruiken. Ik eindig er op twee kleine friteuzen hier zetten. Terwijl ik geen afzuigkap heb. Nou, kun je je even voorstellen hoe ik me voel?